What's up, guys? It's been a while since I gave a little update to my comeback to professional racing. Uh, we have some exciting things in store. We're going to talk about new equipment that I have, upcoming races, and of course, training highlights. Stay tuned. So guys, when I retired from racing three and a half years ago, all my equipment, my bikes, my uh, power meters, my training equipment, it was, it was all liquidated, given back to sponsors, sold, whatever. So I had next to nothing uh, starting off. So I have a brand new time trial bike. I have a new road bike. I have all the gear that you need, power, everything to train properly and this was made possible by my generous sponsors. First let's look at my time trial bike. It's ridiculous. It was custom made. It's got DI2 electronic shifting on it. It's it's everything you'd hope for in a bike. There's no excuses with this bike. The only way that this thing is gonna go slow is if I go slow. Look at this baby. Smooth. As soon as I got that new bike, the first thing I had to do, of course, was get fitted to it. Because if you have a good fit, you can squeeze more power out of yourself and feel better while you're doing it. A bad bike fit can really hurt your performance. So I took it over to my new sponsor, Play Try. It's a, the Traff On Store like I've never seen before. I've never seen a Traff On Store that encompasses everything that you need Traff On wise. And it's huge. The selection is amazing. They took such good care of me. They gave me a fit that made me feel good in my position and also crank out about 30 more watts uh, than I would have done if I had just done it by myself. So when it comes to free speed, you can't ask for anything better than that. All right, let's talk about some training, my favorite thing to talk about. Since the last time you guys saw me, there's been some big jumps in fitness, which I'm absolutely thrilled about. I've had one of my best winters training ever without getting sick and just consistency of training. Uh, so I'm really thrilled with the fitness gains. I can honestly say now that I am at least as good as I've ever been triathlon fitness wise, which I am floored, floored at because I've only been training since November and it's only March. Since the last video, I've had about four or five 100 mile rides. Uh, that have felt really good where we've been pushing the pace with just cranking it out but feeling good. My highlight in the swim has been I had a set where we did 400, two 200s, four 100s, and then 850s at the end. And the pace, the paces for that was uh, we had a 425 for the 400. Uh, for the 200, we were swimming around 207. The 100s were at 101, one flat. And then the 50s were right around 27, 26. So this is kind of where uh, I am at the swim. I think it could be a little bit better. We've got a little bit more for the, uh, room for improvement in that, but that's where we are currently. Now, before you say to yourself, Lucas, that is smoking fast, that is yards, okay? For my European viewers, uh, the conversion rate from yards to short course meters, 25 meter pool is six seconds per 100. So if you wanna know my times in meters, add six seconds to what I just told you per hundred. So yeah, it's not as good as that all sounds in yards, but it's still okay. Um, then for the run, I've been doing a, a long run where every single week I'm doing a session where I go five times 2.82 kilometers with two minutes rest in between. Now 2.82 is the distance because that is a certain loop that I have here close by me. And on that loop, I started off doing around 11 to 10, 10 and a half minutes per rep. We have now just this past uh, weekend, a couple of days ago, I, I was running 930s all the way through. So the fitness is feeling good there as well. 
So things are really coming together. I'm really pleased. The biggest training week we've had thus far has been 14 hours on the bike, 20K swimming, and 60 miles of running for the week. Uh, and we've actually been holding pretty close to that consistently. We're not getting those exact numbers every week, but I'm getting pretty darn close almost every week and hitting intense sessions uh, in between. I'm gonna make a video of uh, a more in-depth analysis of what my training exactly is so you can get a little ideas maybe for your own training, but that's where I am at the moment. So, some big news now, and I'm pretty nervous about it. Uh, that is in, on April 7th, so just a little over two and a half weeks from now, uh, I'm signed up for my first race of the season, and that is 70.3 Texas over in Galveston on the beach. Uh, it's, it's my first half Ironman ever. And after not racing for a while, I'm a, I'm a little bit more nervous than I would have been in the past when I was in the flow of racing all the time. So I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, like I said, I'm feeling fit. So I'm curious to see, I'm curious to see what we do over there. Time-wise and everything. I'm gonna shoot for a time. The field's usually stacked, but doesn't matter. We're, we'll try to mix it up. One of the big reasons that I've been able to come back to such good fitness so quickly is because of my generous sponsors, which allow me to train more and work less. So I think it's important now to give them a big shout out. I want to start with saying thank you to Insight Medical Billing here in Shreveport, where if you're a physician or a medical provider and it feels like a marathon, trying to claim your bills, these guys can turn that into a sprint. They can make your life easy when it comes to claiming uh, the medical billing. I want to say thank you to Jay Wineland Group Benefits here in Shreveport. Uh, they've been so generous and so kind in helping me get back on my feet when it comes to equipment. Need to check them out. Great company. And then I'd like to say thank you to Play Try in Dallas and all starting to be all over the country the best triathlon store that you could possibly ask for. They have everything that you need and they, they're they taking such good care of me. If you need triathlon stuff, go to Play Try. Finally, want to say thank you to my sports nutritionist, Sam McKenzie at Science to Health. He is really helping me maximize my recovery when it comes to nutrition. I feel so much better in my training and also in any intense session that I do, I just feel like I have more energy because of the advice that he has given me. If you want to maximize yourself as an athlete, uh, he's the guy to talk to. But also if you're just somebody who's looking to lose weight and have a more healthier lifestyle and have better nutrition, he can help you there as well. Science to Health, Sam McKenzie.